Yes, let's talk about hockey, the show that journeys through the history of the sport of ice hockey, from its disputed origins to the game we see today. Now, in today's game, the number that a player wears on their back becomes a large part of their identity on the ice, as well as to the fans and to the media. Like many other sports, the numbers that the players can choose from range from 1 to 99. But there have been a few cases where a player has wandered outside of the standard jersey number range. In the NHL, there have only been four players to venture out of the ordinary for their numerical ID. Paul Beeball, who played as a backup netminder for the Canadians in 1942-43, and Neil Sheehy, a Hartford defenseman in 1987-88, both donned the number zero for their respective teams. While no reason was given for b-ball, Sheehy jokingly offered up the explanation that zero is the farthest number from 99, and talent-wise, he was as far away from 99 as possible. The other two NHLers with unusual numerals were John Davidson, a Rangers goaltender during the 1970s, and Martin Biron, a Buffalo goaltender during the late 1990s both of which wore double zeros on their uniforms for a single season. Moving outside of the NHL, the double zeros also appeared on Bernie Perrant, while he was a member of the 1972-73 Philadelphia Blazers of the World Hockey Association. If one were to expand their gaze even further to the European leagues, cases of triple-digit jersey numbers would also begin to crop up, such as Frederick Anderson, who wore number 917 from 1991 to 1994 when he played for Schellef II AIK of the Swedish Elitserien, or Thomas Berglund of the Luleå Bears in the same league, who marked his 700th game with the Luleå club by donning the number 700 for that one milestone game. But perhaps three of the oddest jersey numbers ever worn by a hockey player were not even whole numbers, but decimals. While Thomas Eichberger was with the EHC Linz of the Austrian EBEL, his jersey number read 95.2, which is believed to be the radio frequency of a sponsor. Similarly, EHC Munich defenseman Dave Reed also sported a radio frequency when he slapped the number 95.5 on his back. And finally, we come to the case of Royden Gunn who, while playing for the Memphis River Kings of the Central Hockey League in 1993-94, wore .45 on his back as a pun on his last name and on the 45 caliber revolver. Though you can no longer see anything outside of the 1 through 98 number range in the NHL anymore, due to a jersey number rule enacted by the league in 1998 and the league-wide retirement of Wayne Gretzky's number 99 soon after, you never know what odd numbers players will showcase on their backs in the leagues overseas.